The Roland B50 was and still is an iconic digital synthesizer. It was instrumental in shaping the sounds of the late 80s and the early 90s. When it was released in 1987, it was among one of the most sought after synthesizers. Until this day, it still maintains that legendary status. As a result, getting your hands on one can be quite expensive. So Roland has made a few attempts in the past to recreate um, or reissue the D50 via the release of the D05 Boutique in 2007 and the D50 software synthesizer through their Roland Cloud subscription service. But what if I told you that there's a completely free Roland D50 software that was actually released and made by Roland themselves? Don't believe me? Well then, let's find out. Hi guys, my name is Bundo and welcome to the Sonic Oasis. So the plugin that I'm referring to is Anthology 1987. So Anthology 1987 is essentially a deep sampled D50 with all the famous D50 presets that we all fell in love with. And it's available for free. Anthology 1987 was part of the Roland Concerto collection, which is essentially just a rompler. So what happened is when Roland created the Xenology synthesis engine, which was way more powerful um, and gave you more controls, they decided to discontinue the previous version of plugins, which were essentially just sampled plugins. Um, and in doing that, they decided to make those softwares or ramplers absolutely free. Okay, so I'm going to play you some presets so that you can get a better idea of what this can do and what it can't do. Alright, so Anthology lives within the Roland Concerto plugin. Um, so as you can see, so as you can see, I've got a few downloaded right here. And there's the Anthology 1987. So your plugins that you put end up here. I can stack up as many as I want and essentially layer as many plugins that I want. But today I'm just going to be focusing on the 1987.
Okay, now this this is a very famous one. Interesting, the more you go into the lower notes, the more out of tune it sounds. Comment down below if that's what used to happen on the original D50 with uh, the Fantasia sound. Um, I've never really played on a D50. Um, yeah, so let me know.
Okay, so my closing remarks on the software. First of all, it's not a synthesizer. It's a rompler, which means it's using sample sounds. So immediately, there's going to be a lot of limitations in terms of how far you can edit the sounds. So if you're into sound design, you are not gonna go very far with this. So secondly, this software has no aftertouch control. Even if you have a keyboard with aftertouch control, the sound will not respond to the aftertouch control. Thirdly, there's no XY joystick control to control the timbre of the sounds, which is a huge bummer because that's what gives the D50 its identity, it's that ability to just play around with the joystick, control the timbre. So I'm quite disappointed that this feature is not available. So if these three things bother you, you can just subscribe to the Roland Cloud and choose the an option that has the D50 in it. But if you can get over these three hurdles, then you will definitely go to the plugin. Um, it's portable, it's highly playable, it's free, and it's free. And also, it's very free. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know in the comments what your take on this iconic synth is. Um, and if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe and let me know what I should do next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.